Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. Today we're going to be making this liquidy looking text. Now this is a fun look and I've used this on projects before. And um, I want to show you how to create this. It's really simple and really easy to update and kind of make and things like that. So let's start with a brand new composition. Give it a name nice background and let's get our text type in whatever you want and I am using an ultra light version of Helvetica you want a really really thin font for this um, just because of the way that I'm going to build this because how I'm going to get the different thicknesses is by adding a stroke to it Okay, next what we're going to do is to this layer, let's add an effect, go down to expression controls, layer control. This is so we can easily uh, change the font and, or change the text and it won't um, be too difficult. Then what we do is source text, we add an expression to that, so option or alt, click on the stopwatch, and at the beginning of that, pick whip this layer control, and then put a period after it, so it should say, um, effect layer control layer dot text dot source text okay and so what that's going to do is as I duplicate this to make others I can go back to this original one change it and it'll change all the duplicates okay let me undo that okay next what we want to do is to create the liquid um, reveal and so I'm going to use just a mask tool and I'm going to make big kind of curvy lines right across the text like that and then square it off at the top so it looks about like that let's go back down into the mask settings and we can adjust the expansion and it looks like that so let's keyframe the expansion it's all the way off keyframe that move forward in time nice and slow and let's keyframe the expansion all the way on. Let's take a look at that. Okay, looking pretty good. Now what I do want to do though is let's bring the stroke width up really high. Right now the stroke width is set on white and it's also stroke over fill. Make sure you have that settings. And I'm going to bring this up as thick as I can where it doesn't see where the eye and the dots start to mix together. I'll bring it about right there. So that's at, let's probably do 30 on that. Perfect. Now let's start duplicating and changing this. So I'm going to duplicate that layer, move the top layer over just a few frames, and take that bottom layer, and let's change the stroke color, like a pink, and then bring the stroke width in the pixels. Duplicate it again, take these top two layers, move them over, take that bottom layer, let's change the stroke color, a green, bring the stroke width in, duplicate it again, take those top layers, and you see what I'm doing here. And then on the last one, when I bring the stroke down to zero, well, there's no stroke anymore, so that's the wrong color. So we need to change the fill to that yellow color. Okay, let's take a look at what we have. Looking really cool. And again, since I put in that expression with the layer control on that first one, then all I have to do is change the first one and everything will change with it. Let's add a little bit more to this to give it a liquidy feel. Add an adjustment layer. And to this, let's go down to Distort and Turbulent Displace. And you can see already what that's doing. But I want to bring the size down. Maybe about like that. And then what we're going to do is at the beginning, 
let's keyframe the evolution and the amount. We go to the end of the transition, bring the evolution, you know, a good two turns, and then the amount down to zero. And then as we play through this, it has a nice liquidy feel. So that is the liquid reveal. Um, I hope you learned something cool out of this. Uh, there's some neat little tricks, especially with that layer control. If you have any questions about how this works or any other uh, just random questions, feel free to ask. Just put them down in the comments below. And this is kind of a fun reveal, and I have used this on jobs before, and uh, I think it turns out looking pretty cool. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.